Hello, my name is Al Ziquez and I'm a captain with the Pembroke Pines Police Department and I oversee our Animal Assistance Program. Our Animal Assistance Program was created in 2011 um, by one of our sergeants who recognized that there was a problem within our community with dogs that were either lost or abandoned. And our procedure at the time was when we were notified uh, that these dogs were located, our officers would respond and contact animal control so that they can pick up the dog and take it into their custody. Unfortunately, if the dogs aren't claimed within a reasonable period of time, uh, animal control sometimes has to euthanize these dogs. And that was a concern because oftentimes uh, a pet owner can go on vacation and uh, leave someone to babysit their dogs and the dogs could escape. And if they were gone for a prolonged period of time, by the time they get back from vacation, the dog could have already been euthanized. So in response to that concern, uh, our sergeant decided to create this animal assistance program and slowly but surely the program has grown to what it is today. We also have partnered with Pooches and Pines, which is a not-for-profit uh, volunteer organization, 501c3, that helps us with the adoption process and housing these dogs until uh, they ultimately get adopted or we find the rightful owner if it takes longer than uh, the amount of time that we're able to house them temporarily here in the police department. My name is Tracy Calvino. I work for the City of Pembroke Pines for 16 years. I do scheduling and payroll and I am on the administration for Pooches and Pines and we do everything for the dogs from walking them to doing fundraisers. The first thing we do is we check them for the microchips and then as quick as we can we get signs up for them in the areas where we found them with a picture of them saying where we found them and hoping that someone comes forward saying hey that's my dog or I know where that dog belongs. This is the new kennel and actually the police department um, had some funds from confiscated funds and three. All right. Oh. Cut the ribbon. It's the scissor. Hey. Uh, this building is dedicated to the memory of Officer Mike Holmes, one of our retired officers, who is actually integral in this program, uh, having been created. It was. Uh, Thanks to him that we uh, became more involved and uh, dedicated to animals within our community. So we're proud to be here with his family and dedicate this building to him today. I mean, it's been a labor of love for quite some time, but it was just recently completed as of a few months ago. And we've just been putting the final touches on it, anticipating the uh, inaugural. Since November of 2011, we've saved 985 dogs. And those have been returned to their owners? Those dogs have, 85% uh, of them have been returned to their owners. About 15% of them uh, have been uh, adopted by new families. This is our new kennel, finally. Uh, we can house four dogs in here, kind of like we could in the Sally Fort before. Uh, now they have outdoor runs. They can go in and out the doggy doors. Uh, everything it has been built to last forever. Um, the floor is sealed with a Linex surface like you would find in the flatbed of a truck. Uh, we can come in here with a hose and basically hose it down for quick and easy cleanup. Um, and then outside in the runs, everything is a synthetic grass so that it won't get weeds, it won't get burnt up, we don't have to mow it. It's the best. <laughs> so they can go in and out during the day, they can go to the bathroom by themselves, they can go outside and play. We have about 15 volunteers now that come in here. You see one of them in there now, caring for our baby. Um, we can't, so they're mostly here at night and on the weekends. And they'll come in, feed and walk the dogs and stuff like that. So that helps us extremely. Always need donations. Uh, they can always go to our website, poochesandpines.com. There's a place there where you can make donations through PayPal. We do have the Walls of Love where you can purchase a tile. Some of the tiles are up already. Uh, the small tiles are 25 and the big tiles are 50. You can put anything that you want on the tile. You can put your a family member or your fur baby family member. Um, everybody's put kind of different things on them, but you can do your donation through that way and you would be a part of our kennel forever. Um, and we always need donations of leashes, sheets, towels, things like that we can always use. Uh, food, we always try to keep them on the same kind of food. Pedigree is what we're using. So if you ever want to donate food, we use pedigree. 
We rely fully on the support of the community and the volunteers uh, within our police department and uh, volunteers uh, from the community that help us uh, to make this program a complete success. Who is this? This is Daisy. And where was she found? Um, out on the streets. But they're all ready for a great home. You know, she's such she's a love. Sweet. She's so affectionate. She's very, very affectionate. Hi, sweetie. We do accept donations. We have uh, our police department animal assistance program, which the City of Pembroke Pines police website uh, can be looked up online, as well as the Pooches and Pines program. Uh, they have their own website, and donations can be made through there. And we would also like to spread the word to other uh, law enforcement agencies in the region uh, to take on a, a similar challenge, uh, because they too can be very successful in placing these uh, dogs that are either lost or abandoned with uh, a forever home.